Yozora. All right, so hey guys, so we are a new segment, Talk of the Town. Today we have a special guest, Nick Bucks. What's up, what's up? Nick Bucks wasn't feeling Talk of the Town for a little while. Yeah, we had beef, we had smoke. We had smoke, bro. We had smoke. It was smoke, We had though? smoke. Okay, so why was it smoke, though? Nah, let me tell you why. You know why it was smoke, though, for real? Because I feel like, like, like your platform, your platform, y'all supported me a lot. You know what I'm saying? Right. And like y'all, like y'all was one of the one of the platforms I was like fucking with, right? So when, when this, when, when I, when I, whatever came up, that little fuck we came up, bro, I could curse? Yeah. When that little fuck we came up, you know what I mean? I just felt like I jumped on it first, but it's my fault for feeling some type of way because like we ain't, we ain't have, we don't got a personal relationship. Right. So you don't really know my heart, you know what I mean? You don't know like what I'm on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. On to nobody. Nah, nah, for I sure. I didn't even know who was fucking with us like that. Nah, nah, for sure. Nah, but I did. Every time y'all post me, I would post fast. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was just... Mm-hmm. No, ain't no some, some way. somewhat. Nah, nah. I, y- y'all just was one of the you blogs... You posting a lot. No, nah, y'all was one of the blogs I had love for, though. For real, because y'all supported me. And, 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 you know, for an artist like me who rap rap, mm-hmm. anyone who supported, supported is, like, is, is, is bulletproof love. So I just felt like... Y'all jumped on the fuck we kind of first, and when I reached out to you about it or whoever, um, it was like, yo, you, y- 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 y'all artists got to hold up y'all end of the bar game when it's some bullshit. But come on, man. No, I don't really hold up end of the bar game. It's more so like, remember, a lot of upcoming artists do follow us too. Right. So when that story came about, everybody tried to hit us with, oh, we got a similar story now. It's like, no, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's on some, like, if it's really true, then mm-hmm. you would say something. You but, wouldn't hit us up to say something. You feel me? Nah, nah, nah. Look, like, nah, no. I so, so look, like, like you said, a lot of up and coming artists watch y'all. So let me say something for 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 pe- anybody who who who's in that predicament though. Yeah. When you when when you when you reach out to somebody for a future or whatever, right? Especially if they you know they showing love, because sh- that was a situation that I would have never gained from. Neither way, financially or 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 or. Or um, I mean, musically. Did offer to pay though. What? He paid. Yeah, yeah, but I would have never gained from it financially. Yeah. So, my my part of it. Let me tell you what my mistake was. My mistake was me looking at the money like it was nothing. Like I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna do it. Give me a second. I'm gonna do it. Mm-hmm. Not knowing that other people was not as financially stable as who they paid or who they gave it to. So that was my fault. That was, that was the only thing I was mad about. Yeah. What 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 really what really just like. Like pissed me off, pissed me off was just how they went about it, cause it wasn't yeah. And I was mad at y'all for you know y'all got a platform that people watch, and it was kind of like I try to make an example out of me, and I'm not the example type though. I don't be into it with nobody though. Like it wasn't really trying to make an example. It was more so that like a lot of artists do do that to other artists. Like, nah, that's true. Like you and other people, right? That's true. That's so true. So what artists would try to do is they'll try to hit us up like oh such and such damn pain. But they won't post about it. They'll just tell us and expect us to air it out. It's like, no, if he really did that, then you say something first, and then we'll say something. Yeah. So he was one of the first to ever do that. And then right. people try to make it seem like you was doing that to them. But I'm for, for us, it was more so like... People try to make it seem like I did it to them? Yeah. Well, not you per se. Oh. It's like it's happened regularly. Oh, oh, right? oh, oh. So... For, for us, it's more so we're just reporting, like, you know, what's going on and stuff mm. like that. So it wasn't really nothing towards you. It was more so, like, I really wanted you to respond to it in the sense that, you know, we be busy. I didn't want it to be on some, nah, fuck us. You get what I'm trying to say? Nah. You were supposed to set the tone. It wasn't, it wasn't really, it wasn't really, it wasn't really that. It wasn't really, like, fuck y'all. It yes, was just like, nah, not not that. It wasn't. It was just, I was more surprised because I thought that we had a little, a, a little, I thought y'all supported me y'all supported we the, still do nah nah for, for sure but i didn't think y'all would want to do anything to put like a a dent in it or because i'm not that type i I'm, i don't be into it with nobody with yeah. nobody i'm yeah. not really the don't be like heavy you get what i'm trying to say so when that when i came i didn't really know how to handle that because it was like i don't that like that was the first time it was ever some mixy publicity bond. for sure for sure i get sure. that because you really don't be in, in no sure. drama but um yeah we just I mean, artists, I just feel like if you're going to do that, just think about it before you say yes. 
Yeah, that's nah, nah. But, to every artist. but you, you wanna know what it is? It's like not to even let's move on from from after I say this. Yeah. I did I did a, I did a lot of at that time I did a lot of features. Okay. So I it was like I was doing like this little special thing. I had I was doing a special I forgot. Show. Yeah, I was doing some special for the features. I had knocked out a bunch of them and I was I was overwhelmed with doing that and doing neighborhood hove at the same time. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it just took a while and whatever. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. get into the project. For but, sure. I um, appreciate you for you still coming up, still showing up, and still supporting us and things like that. Yeah. So moving on from that though, so um, you know, how long would you say you've been doing music? Because you know, people have been seeing you constantly. I feel like you've been super consistent <coughs> over the years. But for officially, like full flesh taking it serious, how long would you say you've been taking it serious? Um, since like full flesh series, like twenty thirteen. So would that would be like eight years? Eight, eight years yeah. officially now. Yeah, mm-hmm. like like me really dropping videos and sh- yeah, eight years. So how did you find your love for music, or what would you say your earliest memory of music was? Um, I want to say like my pops used to sell old music and shit like that. So he used to take me with him while he selling music. So I think that was like my first my first knowledge of music. You know what I'm saying? And then Fifty came out, and Fifty mm-hmm. the reason why I started rapping. So 50 is definitely one of your inspirations? Yeah, for sure. Who else was he listening to growing up? Um, Dipset and 50. Mainly? Really, mainly, yeah. He wasn't really into the commercial rap? I was in a lot the of commercial, commercial rap. I feel no, like not in like the early 2000s. No, hell no. I was already, I was already probably into like, it, yeah, probably. yeah, it was already over. Yeah. I was never doing no crank that soda boy shit. <laughs> I never was never none of that. Yes, you always been um pretty lyrical. So mm-hmm. how did like how would you say you go about writing? Um I I haven't wrote I haven't wrote a rap in probably like since like twenty fifteen. Mm-hmm. So I just freestyle. I just you know, I, I record off of motion. Okay. You know what I mean? So you you wouldn't go to the studio if you wasn't in the mood to record. No, nah, I go when I, I go to sometimes I go to the studio and don't record. I just wanna be there. Okay. You know what I mean? The, the the whole studio vibe yeah. would inspire a song. Um, however I'm feeling, you know, whatever's around the vibe, what I went through earlier was like what I probably went through with a female in my life, or mm-hmm. you know, stuff like that. The drugs. <laughs> Are you still smoking? Weed? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Well, does weed help with the music process? Yeah, a lot, a whole lot. <laughs> but I can record sober too. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, so um, let's get into your latest project, Neighborhood Hove. I know you dropped projects before that, though. You wanna yeah. Speak a little about those projects. Um, I mean, I feel like all those projects was like kind of like warm ups, leading up to you know Neighborhood Hove and who I'm becoming. Mm-hmm. It's just me, just you know, letting everybody know that I'm still here and I still can rap and I'm still like, you know, keeping keep keeping up with it. So what inspired the title, Neighborhood Hove? Um, I just feel like, um, like whole grind, his his grind, how he came up, how um, he couldn't get a deal early on, and mm-hmm. he was like, you know, he was dumb nice, and you know, people was overlooking him, and he finally got his chance, and that's what I mean in my block too. I'm like, you know, whole like, for sure. Do you feel like you're getting overlooked? Um, I feel like I get I get credit where I'm supposed to get it, as far as like. People who love rap, who love real music, I think people acknowledge it. Um, it's a whole new wave of music now. Yeah. But I feel like the the wave of music that's coming up now, they when they was coming up, they was watching me. So that's why it's not hard for me to get you know features from up and coming artists and stuff like that. How did so this new sound and wave of music? They're not as lyrical as you. It's more so commercial and. TikTok based kind of now. Mm-hmm. So do you feel like that's like a burden or you feel like that's a plus or do you feel like what do you what's it's, your a, it's a plus to somebody who could who could adapt, you know what I mean? You I, feel like I'm you not, could adapt? Yeah, I'm not I'm not like one of them people like, yo, I hate how music is. I hate this new <laughs> shit. I hate nah. a lot of some some like people like to say that. No, nah, like, I could do it. I love it. I love how it sounds, I love the way it's going. I'm not mm-hmm. upset about it. So what's um one of your favorite songs on neighborhood hove? Um, Tom's. Tom's is my favorite song. Okay. I feel like I feel like I touched on my life in a melodic way. I like the the way the song feel. It's not too rappy. It's not too you know what I mean. So 
a it's a balance. Yeah, it's a vibe. Balance. It's a vibe. So what song do you feel like is slept on a neighborhood hove? What's the song you feel like they need to really like listen or it might hit later on? Um the the full, the one I got with G Herbo. Okay. Um I feel like um it it it, it, it was my least favorite mm -hmm. and became my favorite and a lot of people told me that too. Why was it um, your least favorite? Um, cause it took me, it took me a long time to record. It was like a, one of them verses that took me like a month, a Did month and a half to record. Yeah. To yeah. And stuff. Mm -hmm. But it was organic though. The things mm -hmm. I was saying, I felt like I wasn't trying to really rap. I was more of like telling the story or, or poetry kind of. Yeah. So then you also got the song with Benny Butcher, Sue mm -hmm. Surf. So like, how did some of those collabs come about? Um, like DMs, relationships, you know what I mean? Yeah, they, I cool. fuck with what they doing, they fuck with what I'm doing, mm -hmm. and they come together. So people love the corner gospel songs. Yeah. People love those tracks. Um, what inspires those tracks, or, or do you feel like you have to keep that going because so many people love them? Yeah, I was thinking about retiring it, but I can't. I gotta you keep can't. going. Yeah, I gotta keep going. No, you can't. No, um, corner gospel is just one of those. It's, it's like a, it's. Whenever I'm in full rap mode, whenever I go in and I rap straight through, it's a corner gospel. Okay. Yeah. So you don't plan it like, oh, this is going to be a corner nah, gospel. Nah, I don't never it's plan like it. Whatever it's just vibe organic. it is. Yep. So from where you was at when you first started music to where you are now, how do you feel like you improved musically? Um, I, I feel like um, I've seen more. I've been around, I've been around a lot. Mm -hmm. um, so from, from, it's, it's different from me being... 17, 18, stuck in the hood, not mm -hmm. going nowhere, to now where um, I'm, more, I'm, I'm meeting millionaires, I'm, you know what I mean? I'm around a lot of different things, and I feel like I just grew lyrically and stuff like that. And lyrically, for the most part? Yeah, cadence-wise, I know how to make a song. Okay. You know what I mean? You were just freestyling before? Yeah, I didn't really know how to format songs. I didn't really know how to do a hook and stuff like that. So are you really like close with your like, producers and engineers? Or you kind of like check out different studios or? Um, yeah, I'm pretty close with my with my engineers um, and my producers. I, I got producers that I could call when I need a certain thing. Okay. So, so you're definitely specific on when you go about recording. Right. When it's time when it's time to go in, it's time to go in. That's when I make my phone calls. So you speak that you've been through a lot of things. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people don't know you definitely survived a shooting a while back. Yeah, yeah, so years ago. So how, how has that like empowered you to keep going? I mean, like, you know, when you get another chance in life, you got to do something with it. Like, you can't, you can't really fool with God's plan. If God got a plan for you, you got to figure out what you're going to do with it and just capitalize. So that's what I've been doing, just capitalizing and not taking life for granted. Okay. Uh, so what's something on your bucket list? Like, what's something you want to accomplish as a music artist, especially being from New York, Harlem to be exact? I got to do a song with Jay-Z, though. Like, Jay -Z. before you, like, pack it up, because I know... Time probably getting there. I got to do one with him before he pack it up. Well, Jay-Z? A lot of people say plat platinum plaques, a gold plaque. Or I mean, that's going to come. <laughs> that's going to come. You know but what I mean? As like, long as you lock him with Jay-Z, you good? Yeah, because if I do a song with Hov, I'm definitely going to get a plaque, though. You don't think so? Yeah. For me? So. Yeah, but I also feel like when Jay-Z do a song, it's just more so a stamp. It's like, this artist really worked for this you know what I mean? But you gotta look at who you do songs with. Everybody who this who you do who you do songs with got their own success. Yeah. So that means I gotta get my shit up. I gotta get yeah. my weight up before. I... So what is it you feel like you're lacking, if anything? Um. I don't. I don't really think I'm lacking nothing. I probably probably my personality. Maybe I'm like, maybe I'm like real standoffish though. Like you know what I'm saying? Or anti-social. Yeah, anti-social, standoffish. I don't. I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna like over a relationship. I'm not with all that jumpy <laughs> being a niggas like being around rappers and shit like that. I don't really care for none of that shit. Like my niggas be telling me I gotta do that shit, but I don't I don't I ain't with that shit. I don't like you feel me? Like I mean that it don't be organic. It don't be like, you know what I mean? People be wanting you to So you go based on the energy. Yeah, if it and like like all them features I got on my project. That's organic energy. That's okay. nothing forced there. Like you know what I mean? Okay. That's why I was able to get them cleared and drop them. Okay. So you also did a song with Lil Durk too? Yeah. Was y'all energy That was organic. Or Durk came to the, he came to the Bronx to do that. And we didn't do that in Jungle City or <laughs> Quad. He came, you know what I mean? He came okay. and pushed up. Okay. And then um, 
in the song Voices with Stunner, mm-hmm. right? Um, you say it's like you trying to talk to God, but they ain't hearing. Explain what is what does that mean? Um, but they ain't it's like when, when 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 I try to like when I pray or whatever about on certain situations, mm-hmm. and they don't fall through. Like you know what I mean? Like if I if 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 I'm praying for me and my nigga's safety and I lose one of them, you know what I mean? It's like I'm talking to God, but he ain't really hearing. Or if I'm trying to pray, I'm praying for a better situation. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the homie is very specific. I feel mm-hmm. like you don't know what he's going through also, but I get what you're trying to say. Mm-hmm. So do you feel like, um, so you definitely pray a lot? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I pray every day. Word. And is it for success? Is it for safety? Is it for like... I pray. I pray for. I pray for safety. I pray for success. I never pray. What I never pray for is money, though. Okay. I don't pray for money. I pray for the opportunities, you yeah, know, to, to make it. What like whatever happens. Yeah, I, I think if you pray for money, you you kind of asking for too much. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I agree. Word. So um, so what's one of your proudest moments so far? Like you did a lot in your career yeah. so far. Um. What's something you like? I did that. I feel like. I don't know. You got one. Don't, don't do nah, that. I can't don't think about it. it. I really can't think about it because I, I don't really be happy with nothing, though. Like, or one happy <laughs> moment. Like, I don't really be happy. I don't happy be satisfied. happy when Dirk pulled up on you to do that Nah, song? yeah, that was tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When Dirk pulled up, that was tough. That was um, tough. I appreciated that. I feel like a lot of people have been posting your project. Yeah, yeah. Jada Kiss. Jada Kiss. Yeah, Jada Kiss posted. Thank you. Yeah, that was a proud <laughs> moment. Yeah, for sure. for sure. Okay. All right. And then some people say that you're underrated. What do, you, what do you feel about that? I agree. I agree. I think I'm underrated. I what does the term underrated mean to you, though? Like, why is it... What does the underrated term mean? It mean when you when you really killing shit and nobody want to acknowledge it, though. Like, that's underrated. When you really stepping on shit, you, you going about shit the right way, you doing everything right, and they still won't acknowledge it. Like, you feel me? That's underrated. Like, so you feel you like you're underrated? So? Yeah. I feel like your songs go over people's heads. Nah, for sure, but <laughs> it's not... It's like it's not for kids. One, it's not. I'm not really talking to it. If if you ain't go through it, you're not really gonna understand. You're not really They're gonna probably, feel me. That's what I said. It's gonna go over yeah. their head. It's gonna hit them years later. Nah, for sure, for sure. So um, so yeah. So what's your? You say your favorite song on the tape is um favorites. Let me ask you a question. What so, you think? What you think about my music though? Like what you think? Like how you are you? How you, how you feel My about opinion? it? Yeah, your opinion. I feel like, I told you, I feel like, I feel like you should definitely interact with more people, though. No, nah, I'm talking about musically, not personally. Oh, musically. Yeah. Your music is dope. Okay. Your music is dope. It's not the music to me. To me, it's the, it's the um, personality, it's the footwork. I feel like right. you should be at certain events, support other people. Cause they'll nah, support I'll be, be doing people. that, though. I'll be doing that. I feel, I just, I've never I just, seen him. Nah, you know what <laughs> it is? Nah, let me, nah honestly. Nah, real <laughs> shit, though. I'm t- I, it's just <laughs> hard for me because I'm like, I'm like a person. I got like a, 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 a good heart, though. My heart is solid. Okay. Like everybody, all my music friends tell me you like you, you gotta save your heart for charity and shit like that. You can't <laughs> save it for like music. Music, business. yes. That's so I put my I be putting my heart into shit. So it's like if it's not genuine, if I can't really, if we, I can't really. From me if, listening to music, I f- I see that you're definitely a music lover. Yeah. I feel like you can't take music personally though. This music industry is like ten percent music, ninety percent business. For sure. So sure. they only want to talk business. Nah, for and sure. And they fake as hell. And I just mm-hmm. feel like you see through all that fake shit. Yeah. So you just seem like the type of nigga that don't want to be bothered. Yeah, for sure. But you just have to. You don't have to, but make it work to make it work for you. Don't make it work for them. Yeah. Like, nah, you right. People want to use you. Use them. Nah, you right. But rappers can't be talking that don't real shit and ain't that rappers. though. <laughs> don't talk that shit. Don't act like it's that. And it's I'm not that saying do songs with people yeah. that be lying. Nah, 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 nah. I'm not saying lying. I'm talking about like, like you know, like when people do interviews and shit. You watch them and be like, yo, nah, I fuck with boy. Like boy, like he, he seemed like a, a solid nigga. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? And You'll meet when you him and 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 our energy not that though. You get what I'm saying? Um, I also I, that's what like, it, that's why I don't come out the shit. That's why I don't go. I feel like it's to, also timing too, though. You think so? I feel like once you're meeting somebody at a bad time, it might it will put a bad taste in your mouth. 
You, yeah. Like if you like if you met somebody for the first time and they gave you a weird vibe, you wouldn't want to meet them again. You'd be off that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I also feel like it's timing. Because I've met people for the first time, it was bad vibes. See them again, it was, uh, it was yeah. okay. But you have to still not try to see them again. But, you know, if it happens, it happens. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying force anything. I'm definitely saying just... Nah, you right, though. I'm, I'm taking everything you're saying into consideration. Right? It's not going through one head, not the other. I'm listening. <laughs> that, that's yeah. just my advice to you. But I feel like you definitely... It's so many platforms that, like, fuck with you, though. Mm-hmm. They often talk about you. You're not one that's left out when it comes yeah. to New York City artists. Yeah. Shout out to your platform, too, because mm-hmm. y'all definitely, you know, show love, though. From, 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 you know, whenever, like, the beginning, when y'all started. Years ago. You know what I mean? Yeah, so I definitely want to give a shout-out to y'all and thank y'all publicly, you know what I'm saying? No problem. I definitely appreciate that. I feel like um, a lot of artists don't really see the worth in this now, Mm -hmm. but you'll see it, like, later on. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But, yeah, tell the people where to find you, where to find your music. If you haven't listened to Neighborhood Holes. Make sure y'all go get it. On all platforms. (laughs) Follow me at Neek Bucks on Instagram, Twitter at Neek Bucks, everything Neek Bucks. Subscribe on YouTube too. I need like a, I need a hundred thousand subscribers. He just said thirty k. I gotta help my viewers go up. You know what I'm saying? Let's start with y'all. <laughs> okay.